Hello guys, this is Lenny Please We Are Here, and welcome back to Let's Play Friendbo. So now we are in a house of Aunt Grace, and I'm sure that this is some friend Bo's room. So now, like, let's just say that she's going into madness, and she's gonna understand why, like, what is happening. She's gonna understand her truth. So let's just see they're revealing her the truth. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Be sure to turn on that notification bell so that way you're notified every single time I upload a video or do a community or whatever. I'm thinking about doing another live stream this weekend. I was thinking of doing Minecraft. So, um, if you guys are want to attend, please watch out for the, um, or just watch for the, um, live stream. So, let's continue. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than take responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shiny friend. Don't worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shiny friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Oh no, don't leave me here. Oh, Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have come up parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound and never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said the time is a layer of reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room, in another time. Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Deer said that everything is in my head. So let me examine it and open this up. The cat tummy has a keyhole. Let's see here. I kind of know what... I found myself hunting the truth but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from my city, from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. December 11, I mean, <laughs> December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Can you see? 
cry because it hurts. December 19, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I fell at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Rimmer, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. It signed my head to the Stone of Wisdom inside my head. January 13, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me, tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I have tried hypnotized by his words. But there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love I to live. January 15th, 1876. I met a shadow for the first time and talked to me. The Camellas. Their race is called the Camellas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked about the possession. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, "We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining, and it walked away from me, leaving a black, oily path after it. I, be I believe water may purify them." January 16, 1876. After seeing the camellas react into water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The camellas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the camellas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If there still waits, all the locusts must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. So that's the locusts. February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I called Remmer from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that a Thursda may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Volokas invitation. Since I saw the Volokas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence, time is the rhythm of your perception. March 13, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me, because my son, he thinks I'm insane. July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply your reality laws because they are no not only laws but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without these, without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. November 11th, 1876. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seem to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as pat platelets in white blood cells but a very but at a very high speed. November twenty second, eighteen seventy six. I dream of a thousand I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in a thirst are varied, from roots to giant insects. 
Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned the language in numerology, a third step. <coughs> the Great Volocus is the beginning of the first reality. Primitive flight. Volocus shield. The Volocus body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. When the youngster reach age 299,792,459, they are crowned with a shield. See our creation of the Great Volocus, King of the Aethersa, Second Reality Life, February 13th, 1877. Being an Aethersa feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Sir, Pandora, creation of the five realms is of its sexual existence, which is free, resides in the human world of the reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Sin, I can't pronounce that. The end of vibration with both ends of opposites of the are the game degree are the same degree. Resides in third and fourth reality, death. Mabuka is the end of light. <clears throat> March twenty third twenty third, not thirth, eighteen seventy seven. I'll just call her mother mother Mab. Mother Mab is letting me go. I spent 50 days in here. Map's dead and, and Map's dead and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying, I enjoy laughing, I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Map sent me to the endless limits of Map's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them. Or, to be more precise, become one of them. Those friends gather in filaments. That's why they look like they are growing hair. And the big face is mostly for communication purposes. And the scare and to scare the predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. So here, October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force with creativity, evaluation is inevitable. What is this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody read that for the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Let me see here. Are there any monsters in the closet? I guess not. Hee <laughs> hee, I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. Uh, I love this picture of Miss Midnight. He looks so confused. Oh, I love this comic. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you were chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Well, you are. Myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I'm managing to the old reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken, why would you say that? Think about it, the only way to cross into ultra reality is... To break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme, you think I'm dead? No, not at all. They tell me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones. The white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit and once told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then why we see these things? You do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend? I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh. Oh, right.
Alrighty. Let's see, which key? Let me see here. I'm gonna try this key. Nope. This key? This key? Aha! Unlocked! Thank you so much, friend. Hehe, <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Palantras told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. Haha. -ha. Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you would, you would be all, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Alright, I'll put a bit over. Alrighty, so let's examine this. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears first, twice to the left and once to the right. I rubbed its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I took him once by the left ear and screamed, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Alrighty, so I'm going to have to write this down. Press it by the ears. First, twice to the left and once to the right. Or actually, you know what, if you don't want to read it again, you just want to focus on the box, just take a picture. Sorry guys. Alrighty. So now I took a picture. So once you take a picture of it, you just look at the box, examine that. So press about the ears. Alrighty. First tw twice to the left. to the right. I rub his only eye two times. Sarah. Sarah, no, I'm messing up. Okay, hold on. So let me read this once more. So first, twice to the left ear, twice, once to the right ear. Up his only eye two times. So it has ears, and then, and then. There we go, I'm a master. Let me see here. Okay, now I can combine this with that. Oh my goodness, open it, yes. Combine with this. Combine with 
that? Okay, well then never mind. Let me examine this. Let's hear empty case, working bulb, wake up clock, bottle with water, soap bar, one glove, black wire, piano keys. Let's look through the closet. Yeah, I ignore my family. Let me see here. Ew, it has cat hair all over it. I'm gonna lick it. Yep, grab that. Aw, uh, this is Sally's from school. We like to play together. Oh, how cute. I see candy in the jar. Yep, take that. My school case. Okay, school case. Okay, let me see here. Is there anything in here? Okay, here's that. Why not open it with a knife? A key! A key, a key! Alright, is there anything on the shelf? Combine this with that, <laughs> please. I right, combine this with that. Nope, it will not work. Let me see here. Hmm. I don't remember having the door removed. How will I get out then? I can't walk through the walls. But if I want to find Miss Mena, I have to find the door. So use the knife to cut it. Use this. If only I had water. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I am somebody. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. Let's see what I can do. Don't worry. Let's see here. I gotta throw water. But I don't know how to get out of the room. So let me see if there's anything in here that will help me. I'll have to pause this for now, so if you guys enjoy this, yeah, please do ignore my family, but if you enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe, comment down below if you want more, and as always, this is Sunday Plays VR, playing friend ball for you, and I'll continue later. Bye!